Uh, that's right, I'm here. Me, my Tartaglia, and his maxed out Polar Star. <laughs> uh, so today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna grind a couple talent materials, okay? You know, as you do. Get what? Books. Okay. Then we're gonna explore Fontaine. And then what we're gonna do... Yeah, we're just gonna try to grind out enough to get C1 Child. Let me tweet out stream link. Let's go. Let me pull up chat on my phone. Oh, how do I... I forgore. Ah. Uh, my brain doesn't... It's not working. There we go. I presume we're going to cause the French apocalypse, which is why the stream's titled the way it is. Maybe that's just because I'm a little too fate-pilled and I'm used to just every time we go to a new area, it will end with us apocalypsing it. And that's fine because they deserve it. Am I allowed to say that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, condensed ice. We're fine. I should condense my resin. Whoops. We'll do that later. We'll do that after this. Big guy. Yeah. Surprise we're playing Bape Child today. I, I've decided I like it. I've converted. I got Kazuha, and I I wanted something I could do with him. <laughs> you know, a uh, delusion child doesn't really use him, so... I'm just making do, okay? You know, I wouldn't play the best team in the game unless it was just absolutely necessary, obviously. I'm just glad the character I think is really cool is really busted. I'm very lucky when it comes to that kind of thing. Uh, see Fate Grand Order, where I have uh, an NP5 level 120 Morgan. Uh, who happens to be busted. Wow, the character I like is, is the strongest in the game. Wow, crazy. Imagine me getting lucky... Incredible. Unprecedented. I am a little bit of an angry boy today, though. Because uh, I went... I'll post a picture, but I painted my first Space Marine yesterday. And today, you know, I used some green contrast paint I remembered I had. In order to, like, paint the eyes. And then, uh, when I went into the common room in the dorm I used to paint, apparently somebody got drunk last night and, like, made a huge mess everywhere and spilled, like, food on the floor, so I'm mad. I'm just, I'm a little upset, because, like, uh, they're college students, man. I'm not gonna stop them. Like, there's nothing I can do to stop them from drinking. I just wish... They, you know, you don't mess with my hobby gulag, okay? That's my space. Oh, we just have it. I forgot. We have this for that quest, so let's equip it. And what was I gonna... Right, we were gonna use a resin so that we can, uh... So that we can condense. I, I have a good memory. Trust me. I have the best memory. I'm like Nostradamus, but for the past instead of the future, okay? <laughs> you guys gotta admit, that was a good one. On the things I say tier list, that's kinda up there. Okay, let's be honest, it wasn't that good, but I, I can be proud. I swear it's one of these. There we go. I'm so good at this. 
it only took me checking each and every one. If you guys can guess what Space Marine chapter I painted, uh, I don't know. You get... I don't know. I wish you could just give channel points to people as a prize. That would be cool. I was going to say I'll give you a bunch of channel points. Something like that. Uh. Alright. I haven't read the text on what Kazuma does, so I don't know what makes him so strong. I just know that he's really good, so I should just use him. I know he's got, like, low cooldowns, good recharge, I spam his burst, it deal, it make my damage get bigger. But that's about it. Again, a character I think is cool, happening to be busted. Happening to be the best support for the other character I think is cool, and everyone in general. Alright. There we go. I like that it's just, hey, do all this setup. Okay, now you just get to switch to child for like 15 seconds and go ham, and that's the rotation. I don't know, it's fun. Peak rotation. Just kind of mash for a while. There we go. I'm so good at this. Look at my Polar Star gaming. It does make me feel like a god, I'm gonna be honest. I'm going a little bit mad with the power. But in a fun way. Yeah, it's just a little quirky. I'm just getting a little bit quirky at night. That's all. You understand. No time to lose. Uh, I have been doing fine in my classes. Uh, so, I'll, I'll give you guys a little college update, right? You guys get a, a peek at my life. So, English. We're, we're writing a paper, right? Three pages. It's about the work of William Wordsworth. Specifically, we have a couple prompts to pick from. Uh, I choose, I choose the one where it's like, yeah, I can get three pages out of this. Those three pages aren't going to be interesting at all, but I can get three of them. And that's like, how does Wordsworth use, like, how does Wordsworth do the thing he says in the preface to Lyrical Ballads where he's like, he injects emotion into everyday experiences. And the answer is genuinely, he uses this advanced technique called poetry, right? It's kind of what poetry is. But I genuinely have been just like, okay, every paragraph is just, what did Wordsworth mean when he used this word? So, it's definitely a very boring read. But I said like, oh, can I talk about how Wordsworth's nutting? Because that's the poem we're reading. Uh how it's like it's definitely obviously an allegory for the industrial revolution because it's like the boy goes out into nature takes what he wants destroys it and then regrets it and it's like wow this is go this is romantic period poetry is going on at the same time as the industrial revolution it's really obvious apparently not obvious enough because apparently yeah no evidence to back that up well yeah what am i supposed to but i also can't assume authorial intent so what am i supposed to do i, I don't get it man I don't get how poetry... How do you analyze poetry, man? Oh wait, I need to go condense that. Right. I don't know, it's confusing, right? Because it's like, okay. They said, oh no, it's like definitely... 
he's like referring to it in like a sexual way and i was confused by that because it's like when i read walt whitman i'm like okay yeah walt whitman yeah because that's just what walt whitman does that's how he does things i did not get those connotations at all from it and i'm like am i just like not seeing it am i stupid because like uh, is it because of the name of the poem is that the joke am i missing something i don't know it's like i don't know i guess there's i feel like the poetry teacher is like looking into poems from a very freudian point of view in that like nobody would write this much about a tree if they weren't really into trees and not in a platonic sense i'm like no i i think he's just into trees i don't think it's that deep and then we read, like, Wordsworth's other, other writing, and he says, Oh, yeah, my poems aren't that deep. <laughs> I'm like, why are we analyzing them then? And he says, like, they're not that deep. It's just, it's just a story. You know that one guy from Five Nights at Freddy's who goes, Sometimes a story's just a story, and that's all it needs to be? That's literally how I feel. You know, sometimes you don't have to look that deep into it. Oh, right, I forgot. Kazuha buffs his next plunging attack. Oops, wrong shot. When do I get my, my next res? A minute? Okay, well, I'll just go do it then. Taking a stroll in the middle of a downpour. So, yeah. The I'm... I'm strongly opinionated. I signed up for the for the literature class, and I was like, oh boy, I love literature. I'm so excited to write about things that aren't poetry. And then it's poetry. I... I wouldn't have signed up for that class if I was told it would be poetry. That's my opinion. Because, like, how do I write four pages out of a one-page poem, man, without just being... Let me... I'm pulling out my paper. Uh, yeah, no, this, this paper sucks. It's so boring to read. It's just like... I don't know. It's, it's not that I don't like poetry. There's good poetry. I, I've written papers about, like, work, about, uh, Whitman's song of myself, right? I, I wrote that last year. And it's like, yeah. No, this is how Whitman makes a bunch of, like, biblical allegories. And he, here's all of them. <laughs> here's all of them. Walt Whitman thinks he's Jesus. And I don't entirely disagree. And that was my thesis. But, Whit <laughs> Wordsworth uses emotion, uh, in order to make... Uh, his poems more in, in order to make the events described in his poems more interesting. Wow, thanks, Captain Obvious. You mean <laughs> William Wordsworth uh, makes poems that are interesting? What a thesis! Like to get all of to get four pages out of that poem, I'm really gonna have to milk those words for all they're worth. Am I right, gamers? I'm the funniest guy. Yeah, I've been setting up just to make that one joke. What of it? I went on that rant for that joke. Math is hard, but it's not that hard. That's that's about my college update for that. Taking limits of multivariable functions is the dumbest thing. I'm bad at using the squeeze theorem. They didn't explain it that great. No further strong opinions on the matter. Linear algebra was more fun. I understand why, uh, you know, the order is interchangeable between it and Calc 3, because I definitely did do it without taking Calc 3. But boy, I wish I could just take linear algebra twice instead of taking both. <laughs> because this class sucks. At least so far. Because we've gone from 
hey kids, can you graph a three-dimensional function to, hey kids, limits, am I right? Find them. And it's like, it's hard to prove what the limit is, but I can definitely just look at the graph and point at it and say, yeah, there it is, that's the limit, uh-huh. And I think that should be considered an acceptable way to, to find a limit. We have the technology. I should be able to look at the picture, point at it, and say, you see that? That says four. <laughs> you ever think about how, like, the laptop I'm playing this game on right now is, like, several times stronger than the computer that, like, landed us on the moon? By, like, orders of magnitude. Like, this is at least ten times stronger than the Apollo moon mission. And that's just crazy, right? And, like, look at what we're using it for. Nothing. <laughs> I'm what? Slacking off on a Sunday afternoon? Because I, I did all my work, don't worry. I do have to study uh, my hiragana by Wednesday. But uh, the teacher's out Monday. So I'm just going to do it when I would normally have had his class. So, yeah. Um, cause, like, I can... You can show me any hiragana, and I'll be able to name what it is. Except for the ones where it's, like, the same left side stem is, like, uh, like, wa and re. Uh, I, I can't recognize those to save my life. I'm just really incompetent at that. The one where it's, like, the little z with the line through it, I'm really bad at that. But, uh... Yeah, I can recognize the hiragana, but now I have to be able to, knowing the sound, be able to write them down. I'm better at reading than I am at writing, and I gotta fix that. I can do the first 30, though. can definitely do the first 30. Being left-handed is definitely hard for writing Japanese, though. Because, like, you look at hiragana like ko, right, where you're supposed to, there's, like, a line that's supposed to be formed by when you pick up your brush after moving from left to right. But I instinctually move from right to left. This is not something any human being cares about, but I, I do, so I'm gonna talk about it. Wow, I had a 25% chance to get a material back, and I got one out of 13. Awesome. Okay, let's see. What do I upgrade? What do I get to 10 first? Hmm. I don't know. Probably, probably is E. Well, actually, no, I, I need, I need two for any of them. Okay. Well, not this, because it's only level seven, technically. It's just upgraded by its passive. Uh, it does boost his Riptide damage. I'll upgrade it. Why not? We love damage. I should get a tattoo on my forehead that says that, like Jared Leto in Joker. Or, not in Joker, in Suicide Squad. Dude. Jared Leto is so funny. Not, not in a good way. I do not mean that as a compliment. Let me, <laughs> let me make that clear. But, like, pointing at Jared Leto and going, wow. That's crazy. That's, like, so fun. I don't know. That, that's my opinion. On Tuesday, I'll have an English class where I can, like, have someone help me figure out how to write a conclusion paragraph, because I'm really bad at those. Because, like, I can do an, uh, the substance of an essay, right? 
Oh wait, I should mark that on my map. Give me a sec. Where was that? What what was my point? Yeah, I can do like the substance part of an essay. I'm just really bad at making like fluff. I'm um, I'm very Spartan in how I write. So it's definitely a struggle. Uh, is this time trial? Um, this one? Yeah. Yeah, we just Superman 64 through all the rings. Okay. What's the scene of chromatic font or aberrant? Is it that? Is that it? No. That one. Radical. Okay. Just gotta hunt a couple more. Oh wait, let me steal its power real quick. Oh, I gotta hit all three with one, right? Let me angle for that. I'm bad with, like, directions, but great with angles. It's, like, my specialty. Yeah, that hits. That's such a hit, dude. I'm incredible at this video game. Let me mark that. Radical. Okay. Oh, wait. My little camera circle on the map. Oh, it moved. Interesting. I see. Let's solve this puzzle. I think there's a puzzle. Let's hop through this and maybe it'll take us to where we need the, the thing to open those locks. That's a boat. Cool. I'm breaking and entering. Wait, there's an oculus here? Where? Up there? How do I get there? Do I like... Do I need Scara? No, you probably have to glide from somewhere. I'm gonna say, do I just, do I just need Scara? Sorry, Wanderer. <gasps> it's the little guy. I love him. He's just a little man a little dude. He's like me. He's relatable. See, I'm also just a little, just a little guy. I'm a funky little man. Your Honor, uh, I can't go to jail. I'm a funky little, little guy. So, please consider that in your sentencing decision. Okay. Oh, that's where it is. Oh. oh, wait, is the third one here? Interesting. Eh? Oh, do I have to do it, like, kind of fast? Or do I have to do it in a specific order? Huh? Wait. What's the trick here? There's a puzzle. There's definitely a puzzle going on. Alright, let me... Let me try something. So these ones stayed lit up when I did it in this order. So that's clearly correct. Probably like some hint I'm supposed to find.
what if I like then shoot this? Oh, they have to be in a connected path. Got it. That's probably just what it is. Okay, well, I think I might have overthought things. Let me mark that on my map. I have a little map where I mark everything I've done. Because, like, that way, you know, I'll always know. Whether, you know, if I really need primos, I'll know where I can go. It's the crab. Hey, buddy. It's a little guy. I love this game, man. I don't know. It's fun. This new patch, it's just like... They just added a bunch of little guys. Hello, crab. I must steal your, your power. That's one of the one of the event things. Yeah. Cool. Good job, chat. Uh, everybody, let's give ourselves a clap. You know, our goals here are simple get enough to roll more gotcha. Is the team comp I'm playing not great for Fontaine? Where'd you get an idea like that? <laughs> Immune. I might have to switch to Ganyu. I think I will, honestly. After I kill this. After I kill this goofy goober. I wonder how good... I don't have Artifact for Melt Ganyu is my problem. I have him for Freeze Ganyu. I guess since they are Hydro starting and not Cryo starting... They can get frozen, so... Yeah. Oh, they're dead. How'd that happen? Let me heal. I should do that. I think I tried to take a fight that I shouldn't have, but I don't remember where. My memory isn't very good. I'll figure it out. I might print... Oh, don't tell nobody. I might print some of the Forge World stuff for my army. If there's, like, good enough STLs that it's indistinguishable. It's like, what? They're both resin. There's no difference. I'm not paying $500 for a squad of Terminators. I'm just not. Oh. I found one. Oh. I found two. Oh. Let's do this time trial. Okay. Watch me. Watch this drive. Oh, there's platforming challenge. I was gonna say, what, what's the trick? Oh. That's it. That's the trick. Got it. Okay. It's been a long time since I failed one of these. I'll be honest, I think it was when I was 
doing Dragon Spine for the first time. You know the one. Let me let me get out the map. So I can remember where I am. Okay. And we're going to use the Kazuha jump in order to jump gooder. Look at that. Look at that save. I'm so clutch. I keep forgetting Kazuha can do his thing in midair. I feel so goaded. Uh, I saw... Like one of the, yeah, yeah, here it is. The shooty one. Let's do it. Let's get this bread, gamers. Wow, what a difficult aiming challenge that I'm being faced with here. Insane. Utterly crazy. Did not have to try. <laughs> Yeah, even when you're basically cheating. Oh, I thought you were an enemy. I'll be honest, I saw the cut and thought like, oh, so that's a treasure hoarder, right? I hope I don't alert him. I think I have one to catch a- to like, see a bird. Yeah. Bird. Got. Goodbye. Oops. Hmm. If we just find every bird. You ever wonder if there's somebody who's, like, memorized every animal? I mean, like, you think that sounds really hard. That would take, like, a thousand hours. But then you think about, like, a thousand hours is how long it takes to, like, watch most of One Piece. <laughs> like what? There's people who have seen One Piece multiple times. So I'm sure there's like somebody who knows every bird. Right? Or like every animal. Every bird sounds a lot easier. I think there's got to be someone who knows all the birds. How many birds are there? I'm gonna look this up. How many kinds of birds are there? Ten thousand. Oh, so what? That's. Let's say you memorize. Let's say it takes you thirty minutes to memorize a bird type name. That's like what? Watch One Piece five times. Just what, 5,000 hours? Yeah, no, you can do that. Bro, I saw someone say, uh, the Horus Heresy is like, uh, one piece for guys who like to collect toys. And they're, they're right, but I haven't read that either. I'm too lazy. Can't be bothered. I don't know, it's just like, that's a lot of books. It's daunting. I'm sure they're really good. I just, I can't. I can't. There's, like, 50 of them. Maybe I'll read the whole, like, the end and the death once all three of them are out. Maybe. Maybe I'll do... Uh, maybe I'll do a read-along. The end and the death part three. Would you... <laughs> would you watch that stream? Oh, I hadn't even activated this one. Whoops. I don't know, I'll just read it to you like a bedtime story. Except instead of a bedtime story, it's the Horus Heresy. <laughs> 
I'm sure there's like a person who's been waiting for that. Who's been waiting for me in particular to explain 40k lore. Something that I don't even understand. I've like played a few games on the tabletop and that's I played a narrative campaign, but I still don't, like, know that much. I just know my guys are the coolest guys, because they're the ones I have. Okay, well, Tower pretty cool. Uh, I just didn't have enough money for them, because they're kind of expensive. Custodies are cool because they're not expensive. <laughs> They're a little, uh, cheaper. Should we really be out there this early? There is still a lot left to do. Let me... There's a new community article. Okay, the Sarastas Acheron is coming. The Castigator. That is the good Sarastas Knight. Because I like sword, but I like power sword better than chain sword. Oh, what? It's designed for mid-range. It's melee's myth. That sucks. Made to order terrain. Okay, Aegis defense line. Okay. Uh, what? Landing pad. Bunker. Defense emplacement. Whatever that tower is. And it says there's going to be a couple bases. Cool. That's interesting. There's, like, special bases. Vampires and Blood Bowl up for pre order. That's nice, I guess. I don't play Blood Bowl. I'm not smart enough. If you lie on the grass, you can feel the heartbeat of the world. But that's cool. I'm excited for people who care. <laughs> Banger opinion. I'm really excited for people who care. Those people aren't me. I can say that. It's not, like, mean. It's, it's my honest truth. Dog. Look. It's a dog. Look at them. That's adorable. There's, they, he's got a little hat. I love him. Look at me effectively using the rule of thirds. I think that's what the rule of thirds is, right? I'm the best photographer ever. Hire me for your next wedding. Chat, if any of you are going to get married, hire me to take photos at your wedding. I will disappoint. No, I won't disappoint. Because you will not have any expectations. <laughs> I won't disappoint because it would be a really bad idea to set high expectations. If that's the best uh, your wedding photographer can say... Uh, things will probably be fine. Where do I get the, the other color? Oh, I see. I see it now. I just gotta get the other. There. I'm a genius. It's Numa from Xenoblade. From Hit Games, Xenoblade Chronicles. I haven't played that one. Man, I can't keep putting things on my I'll play it eventually list. Partially because deep down, I think both of us know. Will I? Will I play it later? It seems fun. It's just a lot of hours. Not that I've let that stop me from playing multiple Persona games, but still.
you get my point. There's just a lot to do. Like, yeah, I'd love to become a Megami Tensei fan. But there's a lot of SMT games. And they're all JRPGs, so it's not like, you know, I can just speedrun them, okay? I can't go back and say, oh yeah, I can play all the NES Mario games and then go play all four in a minute, in like ten minutes flat. It's just not happening. I'm not powerful enough of a gamer to beat a real SMT game. I don't even know if I have the gamer... Like, I don't think I have the gamer prowess to be able to beat an SMT game. Without grinding to the point of being overleveled. But I feel like that just proves I'm a bad player. Where are we going? This way? Okay. Oh, it's not off the map. It's only on the surface. Got it. I was going to say, it looked like I was going towards the edge of the map. But I'm just a goober. God, I love that you can't drown in this mode, or in this area. It's just a good change. Next on the agenda. <gasps> Oranges? This ain't Florida. I mean, I guess they are both on beaches and should die. Daniel posting inflammatory opinions about uh, the French and Floridians. Okay, it's not an inflammatory opinion about the Floridians. If we cut Florida off of the U the continental U.S. with a saw, with a comically large cartoon saw, and watched it drift into the ocean, nobody would be upset, and that includes Floridians. They finally get their dream of, like, not having to pay taxes anymore or whatever. I don't know what Floridians do with their time. Probably not pay taxes. Cool guy. Who are these little dudes? I know they said they were Melusines, but what is a Melusine? Do you like magic? Do you like fountains? Oh. What's a melusine? Do you have special eyes? What do they do? Where are they from? How do I get one? Let me check what constellation my Noel's at. Now that we've got that new one. Wait, I have another Barbara? I guess I do, huh? Cool. I have a Toma? I didn't know I had this character. I didn't know I had that character. I know I have this character. I like that I have this character. She's only C2? She's like the first character you get. You get her in the tutorial summon. Crazy. Yeah, it's time to play an Ace Attorney game. Yeah. Okay, buddy. God, this guy's annoying. Huh? 
flashback? Are we having one of Sibling's memories again? No, Paimon didn't say anything. Yeah, that didn't sound like Paimon. Welcome to the Fountain of Lucia. All the water hey. flowing through from Oh, okay. When you... uh, right. What do you mean? There are a lot of No. It's a ghost. I see. In fact, you might not be imagining things at all. Oh, okay. When do you cry? Wait. What? When you're sad. Answer me. Uh, when Paimon's really sad? Yeah, well... Oh, and then you should understand yeah. tears contain their most intense emotions. Like okay. I just mentioned, the fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine. So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from someone's tears. So, what okay. did the boy say? Oh, someone's time. dead. Oh, is that the mystery serial killer who's been running around? Do we know their name now? Or is that one of the victims of the mystery serial killer or something? Oh yeah, there's a whole mystery serial killer that we're just not dealing with. And I guess they do only strike, like, what, once every decade? Is it even one person? I think we might just be saying... There was a murder this decade. Ah, oh, must be Jack the Ripper again. Oh, you know that Jack. <laughs> uh, traveler in Pinewood. Good to see you. I knew you two would be Yeah, we have been summoned here. <laughs> but you're actually right on time. The audience still hasn't started in. Or, wait, aren't we about to do... Aren't we on trial or something? I don't remember. The Opera House has a sign seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already reserved your seats, and here are your tickets. Oh. I have way too many tabs open. I gotta close some of these. Oh, yeah, I was looking at the list of every bird... How many birds are there total? Not just like species. How many birds are there? 50 billion! That's a lot of birds! There's no need to Hey, Lenny! Would you come over here and take a look at this? Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. That's Cal. Cool, he's probably gonna die, because he's an NPC. See, they're allowed to kill those ones off. <laughs> NPCs are allowed to die. When will Genshin finally kill off a playable character? And who will be first? When will they finally have the courage? Is it the voice again? No, it's Guy. Uh, it's, it's Miles Edgeworth. Uh, We're actually here to be put on trial. Hey, yeah. Strike up a conversation. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. I did not realize I would be Hello. Oh. He's got a cravat, and he, we're in Lawyerville. Yeah. Oh. oh, so you're not friends with Lenny. Nice to meet you. I'm not a spine. I'm not just a traveler. We Hi. It is an honor to meet you two. And as required by proper etiquette, I will also introduce... Oh, Miles Edgeworth. What an honor it is Shut to up. Here to see my show. Shut up, French. Wait. Give me a sec. I gotta blow my nose real quick. But it seems you still don't know who Monsieur Nervulet is. No offense, but I know everything I need to know about him. He's French. Hmm. A 
allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. Cool. He's gonna be the real Archon secretly or something. There's someone sitting up there in a VIP. I believe she is trying to give you it. So I think you should take notice of her soon. Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't notice. Very good. That is for the best. Dude, he's awful. He's awful. I love him. Please wait just a moment longer. They're just this is how you this is how you have chemistry between two characters right you can't have them be like oh hello my good chum we sure are the best of friends no you have to have them be what real friends are like oh my god i you i hate you you suck hey you want to go watch a movie <laughs> Yeah. Hey. Uh, hold our visions. Both Lynette and myself have removed our vi- oh, good point. Now, without further ado, let the- Counterpoint, counterpoint. What happens- Is it only when- Do you only, like, lose your emotions when you lose your vision for a prolonged period of time? Or is it something with the statue at the, uh, from the Vision Hunt Decree? Like, the, the special one. The, the weird one. St the magic statue. Oh, yeah. Forget, that makes it happen. happen You've stolen everyone's wallets. A magician's greatest skill is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. Look under your... T now look under your chairs. Now look into your pockets. Open your wallet. Do you see what's in this inside this hat? It's your credit card. <laughs> All right, how's he doing it? Oh, I see your credit card. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but no, this is just actual witchcraft. This isn't what you came for. These little tricks. Yeah. That's just actual witchcraft. You can't hide a pigeon like that. That's a ver you can't that no. Using this water tank, oh, she's gonna Houdini. Completely, right before your very eyes. Murder. <laughs> Murder moment. Oh, is she gonna like be like Vaporeon where she dissolves into the water? Oh wait, is this the water from the Oh, wait, is he going to kill her to prove the point that, like, the water outside will kill you when it rises? Yeah, I was gonna say it's part of the show. Luckily, it's me on stage, so let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. Yeah. Okay. Lynette, are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi, I'm back. Put on pants. Oh, cool. Cool trick, dude. <laughs> dude, I love that Farina's like, I'm literally God, but this is incredible. That's, that's so, this is wonderful. This is marvelous. No way she's a real Archon. It's gotta be Nubilette. Yeah. 
Never let the real Archon, right? And it's like a trick they're doing to switch things up. Because, like, also... No, wait. Kind of ratio between Archons is even. Right, I forgot about Venti. I, I just kind of forgot about Mondstadt. Okay, that, but that cat comes from your vision, right? Oh, he's gonna pick me. Oh, okay. Yeah, it has to be someone... It has to be someone who's already picked. Ray, yeah. You're bluffing. It's gonna be me, and they're gonna act like that's how magicians do it. He's witchcraft, man. Yeah, okay. Pre-decided. Now let's all do it. Come on, repeat after me. Sixty. That's right, perfect. Keep it going. Fifty-four, fifty-three, fifty-three, and you're counting, Nevelet. I am counting in my head. Merely okay. a consequence of my identity. Real Archon. You look so serious that I'm sorry. Mr. Lady, are you all right in that room? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. He would be a disaster if he did that. But even though he's saying that, Lenny doesn't yeah. seem nervous at all. Yeah. Yeah, it's an elevator. Not sure. Anyway, this is twenty five. What's wrong, Mr. Liddy? I feel like you have accidentally knocked over it. Never mind the decorations. No, that's unacceptable. I want my kids. Uh, it seems things on it feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know yeah. one second from change is killed. Anyway, somebody's gonna die. He's gonna mess it up. Bazinga. Nobody's gonna be in there. Okay. Yeah, it was all staged. Nobody's gonna come out of the other one. He's got charisma, man. Dead body. Dead body. Watch. Dang it, Rampa. <laughs> Dang it, Rampa. Dang it, Rampa 3, Chapter 2. Bang. Dang it, Rampa. <laughs> Rip. El Bozo. This is over. Medical staff with me. Guards secure the scene and detain all the performers. Yes, that's right. If this was just no need to be alarmed. Yep. Nope. She's fake Archon. Fake Archon can't be tricked. I can't be tricked, dude. I'm the traveler. Let me let me investigate. Let me dung and some Ronpa. Has been pronounced dead. His name was Cowell. One of the assistants in Lenny's magic tree. Called it! By the way, called it that he died. Oh, okay. As of now, and after an initial search of the area, the guards, it appears that this incident was not... And there are many indications that it is... Okay. 
Okay. When were you born? How old is he? Hasn't this been going on for decades? Objection! We should test the randomness of the machine, because, like, it couldn't be a mysterious disappearance of young women case uh, if, like, I don't know, the person who disappeared was, like, randomly selected as a guy or old. There's a lot of possibilities that could have caused that plan to go horribly wrong if this was an elaborate scheme. There's plenty of other realistic possibilities, okay? First of all, why would my client kill one of his own assistants, who is would evidently be in on it with him? Two, where exactly did the disappeared go? Okay, until you can prove anything in that category there's really nowhere for your case to go for all you know it it's very likely that the boxes are just connected by a tunnel underneath the stage and she's just in that tunnel right now No, I am the master of the master of genius, okay. Internet not working. No, there it is, it's back. Okay. Sorry about everything. Yeah. yeah. Little, I know you already claimed that you would defend me, but now it's just us talking. No. Good to hear. I'm sure. I mean, it's a possibility. Because I don't know whether what happened but on the stage was purely an accident or not. And I don't know why poor Cal The duty of an attorney is to face their opponent with pride and with honor, and for both of us to do our best within the confines of the law in order to ensure that the truth is reached. For how that girl chosen from the audience could suddenly disappear. I am afraid that even Okay, you have to explain what your trick was. Okay, I like the gla I like the mustache. Okay. <laughs> Somebody just got murdered. Here's my funny prop. Explain how the trick happened. I can't dung in the Ronpa. Dung and Ronpa two or er, three chapter two. Okay. Based on the legal case president of uh. <laughs> Of, uh, what's her face? Uh, no, what? What was her name? On, uh, Dongrampa 2 Magic Girl. I know it starts with an H, or Dongrampa 3. Girl. Yeah, based on the case of, uh, <laughs> based on the president of Himiko versus, uh, <laughs> Himiko versus the class of, uh, of 2016, or whatever, based on the precedent set by Himiko vs. Class of 2016, uh, the way a magic trick works is not a trade secret and must be revealed in court if a murder were to occur strongly enough related to the case, or strongly enough related to the magic trick. If it is required to solve a murder, the tr it is a trade secret that must be disclosed. You know, based on that precedent that we set when we were running that trial, man, blast from the past there. Hello. Uh, I see. You must be the traveler. Come with me. Nah. 
the deceased. A world of pure imagination. Even though he hadn't joined the troop. Ah, oh, he's new. In charge of setting up and inspecting the props. You have waterproof chalk? That's crazy. When you were in the audience, the water tank suddenly fell. How did he get into the box when we weren't paying attention? This is the real mystery. However, if you look carefully, the box was positioned directly under the water. All these factors Why lining would... up so perfectly makes it hard to see. If anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was in... Yeah, why wouldn't you put the, uh, the tank above the, the box? That's kind of irresponsible. So in just a short time, he was... I know there's no such thing as magic. I've seen yeah. a lot of cases. And I can tell you that people... Are the least reliable kind of evidence. No, that is based. Character witnesses are useless. Anyway, you may investigate the scene. Well, he didn't seem like a murderer. Like, okay, yeah, a lot of people don't seem like murderers because you haven't seen them kill anyone. Okay. Who's set up the stage? Okay, Cowell. Cowell Von Genericus. Okay. We have perception now. Alright, that's where the rope burned. We should investigate the fireworks themselves. Yeah. Was it a poorly tied knot? Okay. It was pre-planned. It was definitely pre-planned. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, we should ask the rope maker whether, how flammable the rope was. So oh, that works. Yeah, so this location has also been Rope was rigged up to blow are currently considered prime suspects. The seats were all booked in advance. Specifically they weaved in something flammable near the bottom where it would be in range of the pyrotechnics because a single spark wouldn't be enough to ignite a normal rope. This is yeah. confidential information. Her name is Halsey. She's a painter from Fox. Okay. Apparently, she wasn't a regular at the Opera House. The Magic Troop members all claim not to know her. We have looked into it. So okay. Far, she wasn't related to the Magic Troop at all. Yeah. That's how it seems to us. Were the previous cases in the same area as Lenny and Lynette? Okay, then. I don't need to be so formal. It is of utmost importance that we get to the bottom. Okay. What are her... Linny is strongly opinionated, however, on the prophecy. What are her opinions on it? Okay. What's the trick with the box? Let's see. How is he able to move from one box to another? Is it... There's no hole in the stage. There might be a trapdoor, but not one that we can touch or see. Let's see. The investigation team has some new findings. See? Yep, it always picks the same thing. Did it only pick between young women? Yeah. There might be. It turns out the seat number. Picked. Yep. I'm sure you already know that you have to make a reservation in advance. Yeah. Really? Okay. Let's just see why I was saying it'd be tough to make a case for Lynn. Yeah, this one seems open and shut, but. We do need to hear Linny's explanation, and maybe he can tell us where she is. Okay. Oh, 
Right, the other box. Let's open it, look inside. Hmm. What is the trick? Is he capable of actual magecraft like, uh, like Dane's leave? Yeah. Yeah. That must have been when they swapped. Or I'm of the opinion that it may have been the sound of Lenny's accomplice. When the pyrotechnics went off, she quaked. She didn't cut it. Perhaps the balance wasn't right, leading to a that's true. Objection. Are you a moron? Because look at the rope. Those are singe marks. That was not cut with scissors, you idiot. Now granted it is possible that Lynette is behind it and Linny is an innocent man. Still talking to the I think yeah. To okay. Still talking to okay. The I think someone... Can't get his testimony. Hmm. God, this is so dung and romped up. Okay. Charlotte? Over here. No? Who are you? Huh? You mean us? That's right. If I'm not mistaken, we're also among those. Yeah. Well, you're right on the more about that one, but who are you? Hello, ma'am. I do like her design. <laughs> Is she I'm human from mediating disputes and providing protection to solving the Yo, did she run the mob? Have the honor of being its renowned president. Okay. I'm so Yo, we found the mafia. Okay. I I don't. He might not be connected to the case, but he did do some bad things. Yeah. What's your opinion? <laughs> All right. I've answered in a minute. Get the answer. Well, I say it done. In your opinion, okay. do you think it's right to treat a trial like it's on? Um, no. Well, and why? What because you mean? let... Yeah, you get showmanship, get it in the way of the truth. <laughs> well, it's just skewed how few of them are, no matter how wonderful the yeah. script or how fervent they are, that it that can be done. All right, that's tough now. I need to make some preparations. Hey, that's right. Yeah. I'm the detective. Yeah, welcome to the team. Far be it from me, you wish to save a friend from false accusation. You have a I no, if he's if he did it, I don't care. I want to find the truth, whatever it is. I'm not biased here, man. What I want is a proper explanation of the trick. Can we tunnel underneath? Because I, I couldn't see Linny's performance for me, but still, okay. I went off with a band in my coat, and I stayed put no matter how loud the applause was. We Melodines are good at that stuff. So, okay. I'll do the front entrance. Okay. There's likely an alternate exit to the area. Definitely a trapdoor beneath the boxes. That thump was likely an attempt to force the trapdoor open. Possibly Cowl attempting to open the trapdoor from beneath, right? If I had to guess, Lenny goes into it, he tries to, he accidentally knocks things over, he tries to fix it. Cowl, he can't open the trapdoor, Cowl has to go in and help him open it. Okay. The Cowl helps him open the trap door, uh, so Linny is able to get to the other side of the tunnel. Cowl is crushed to death, uh, and she probably leaves through an emergency exit in the tunnel, because as a selected audience member, 
Well, either she's a selected audience member, there's the chance that the reason why it's rigged is because, obviously, as a magician, you're going to pick someone who's in on the trick so that they don't mess things up, right? So she just kind of crawls out through the tunnel. She might think something's going wrong and gets out. Cowell may be affiliated with the mob, and this was orchestrated to kill him. But I have a feeling Halsey is safe. We'll need a bit more investigation into the trick, though. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Explain the trick. Yep, below stage. Call it. Top secret tunnel, secret tunnel. I know every trick. Uh, there's a trap door. I'm not trying to be dramatic. Remembering the details of a trick. Into the trap door. That said, uh, Very good. I didn't notice. The back of this door was padded. Those patterns are now gone. Oh, yeah, there's a secret back. If you put two and two together, what do you <laughs> exactly? Yep, fake door. Oh, so there was a passageway. <laughs> Call it. I knew you'd figure out the two magic boxes are positioned to see this flatbed trough. The box with the lucky audience member in it would be shuttled over to the other side using the trough. This trolley can raise and lower and even rotate, okay. ensuring that the box will proceed. So precisely. The inner box would descend after the yep. once the box was low. The thump was the, the movement of the trolley. Some energy through this the audience member would only be able to feel some slight movements in the dark. And by Okay. You were talking about Ah, uh, yes. A phonograph operated by assistant okay. already scripted our conversation beforehand. Gotcha. Good trick. I was in the mezzanine space in the back of that's how we were. Gotcha. Okay, so the box has a false side. Okay. There's two. Okay, so they use twin tricks in order to swap around. Gotcha, that's how they made it look like, uh, there was barely anyone in. See, the interesting thing here is, we've got two questions, right? Who set that up to burn, right? Could have been someone associated with the stage, because how much of the right did they have to stage positioning? Someone else could have, you know, inspected the props and then swapped them out, or even uh, just chosen to position the water tank above the box. Second, presuming they didn't build the stage, this tunnel's always been here. There must be something in the tunnel that we don't know about. Oh, Give me a sec. Sorry, someone was knocking at my door, and then when I opened it, there was no one there. That's fine. Yes, of course. No need to be so strict now. I won't disappear. The bubble trick. Was it a decoy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so they do twin shenanigans. Let's take a look. This ladder. Okay, to get out. Except for... However, this box uses the elevator in order to get back up. Because it has to, in, 
because of the assistant. Right? Unless, how would the assistant get in if they can't see that they have to climb through the ladder? Right? There's a spare costumes where they got changed. Event. Interesting. It seems someone could fit the yeah. Hello. Or the missing person's escape. Yeah. There's the two boxes that they used with the ladders. The missing lady could have just left. So that's definitely something you gotta leave on the table. There could be a dead body inside of one of these. Hidden within one of the box tracks. Oh. What happened here? She's not right. Oh, there's a couple of possible implications here. One of them they would not put in Genshin Impact. So you know how Linny's clothes or Lynette's clothes disappeared when she was in the tank because she turned into bubbles? The bubble thing is probably the returning to the sea that was mentioned in the prophecy. If I had to guess this water causes you to turn to bubbles and return to the sea, right? This is special water from the vase that broke. The floor is wet. Please be careful not to slip. Speaking of which, why? Oh, I don't know. It's one of those, and here's a broken vase. Hmm. That can't be. But the person's positioning or their pose could have caused it to be hit. I think if they extended their arms too much. We should investigate how the air bubble trick worked. Mm -hmm. I believe that's going to be our key here. Oh. It could have... There's a couple options. One. That was the hook meant to be used to secure the water tank. It was swapped out for a different, more flammable one as a form of sabotage. Option B. That was hooked into the vase so that when the trolley went across it, it would break the vase, spilling the bubble water, and turning the lady into bubbles. And this is water taken from, like, the, the, you know... The Magic Prophecy water where if it touches you, you return to the ocean. Still, well, I think we're very easily getting to the bottom of this case. I am a genius detective after all. Let's find a place to sort out our findings. Apologies for the wait, Demoiselle. So, what did the guards say? Did the crim They believe the odds of that. The guards oh. have changed. Interesting. No one left through the basement. So the tunnels become like a secret chamber then. Yeah. Hmm. It's definitely gotta be through the bubbles. In other words, the charge is charges and then that's right. This is how a trial goes in the opera house. I need to ask him about how the bubbles the defenses from attorneys. What to put it simply? This also okay. includes any kind of favoritism on the part of the chief justice. Okay. Cool. In practice, there is very little difference. Both ah, yes, the guards are because we've chosen to act. They're concerned All right. that might be even if that were not so. It could prove problematic. I'm ready to break out at any time. Yeah. Of course. I just hope you don't mind the okay. lack of option. In that case, let's just sort out our findings together here. I mean, what better way to properly clean Yeah, based. Yeah. What do you mean, no snack, huh? <gasps> you can cook? 
Oh, wait, we have the magic teapot, you idiot. We have the magic tea house chamber. Or the teapot chamber. Wait, you moron. Yes, I must be prepared to meet the oh. Eggs, sugar, and almond <laughs> oh, we're gonna make macarons. We need a Are you gonna grind almonds into almond flour? Nope. Fake news, you cannot make macarons that fast. You need a piping bag. You're gonna need... You do need the egg yolk, or the egg whites for the cream. But, dude, that's hard. That's a difficult challenge. Yeah. Banger. Okay, best girl. She's right, because uh, mine always crack. God, I love the the baked goods mafia. Okay. Best Fontaine character? Oh, she's got a Geo uh, vision? Yeah. The rope and the magic vase. Oh yeah. Shouldn't we investigate the cause of Cowell's death, whether it was from the blunt force trauma or whether he had pre-existing injuries? You guys are all morons. A magic trick. You ate two of mine. It was her. Making sure everyone gets three macarons, of course. Bro, you can have some of mine. How did you get more? <laughs> okay. I believe I've cracked this case. She's been bubbled. Your Honor, she's been bubbled. Uh, Your Honor, do you know what this item is? A bubble blower, sir. Indeed, a bubble blower. What are you getting at here? I believe that she has been made into bubbles. <laughs> Get bubbled, idiot. El Bozo. You're not ready for this. I am the greatest genius ever made. <laughs> I have played at least three Danganronpa games. Four, but I don't re- Five, but I don't count two of them. One of them because it's not real, it's a fever dream we all collectively had at the same time when I stopped the moment we got to the third chapter. And the other one because that was Mario Party. <laughs> How'd you do the bubble thing, Lenny? Lenny. How'd you bubble? Yeah. It's just trapdoors, idiot. Thank you, Mr. B. In that you ran to and remained hidden within the magic yeah. box in the audience stands once the trick began. Yes, that's correct. In that case, I called upon the Yeah. How did he appear in that? How did he appear in the one on this side that was Lynette in pants? 
no way you could have been in the box the whole time if you were to have... That is simply your hypothesis. Yeah. Is that so? The roaring countdown of the crowd, of course. And you didn't hear... And no, no. Not a thump? But when the count... Huh? Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I'm sure you could have heard... I was right by the box. And How insulated was the tunnel? I have a question. Well then, let, of course, I have armed myself with you far more than smash your Let us off. test something. Farina, let's test something. Stand in the tunnel and we're going to make some noise. We'll see if you can hear it. Oh. Cool. Hey, isn't this cheating? True. Then perhaps your first priority is to prove yourself innocent. Dude, let me cross examine the witness or whatever. Watch this. Hey, watch this. So there, that makes them the good guys. However, please answer my question. Sorry. Yes. I knew it. Well, that's it. We might as well. What should we do now? Literally, all of you need to shut up right now. This is the bubbles. In that case, what is your request? Yeah. Is that really necessary? We need a recess. Bro. No, you didn't let me see my client. You did not let me see my client. Okay. So you would stick in that case. You can't just say, hey, this guy is part of so-and-so organization, he must be guilty. That's like saying, hey, dude, this guy is actually part of, uh, I don't know. Well, what's something that's not just awful and that being in it should be a crime anyway? I don't know. Well, this is uh, awkward. I didn't think the Hydro Archon would take all that up. It's like if you said, hey, the, uh, the defense is Russian. Ergo, he must be a communist. Ergo, he must have murdered Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> So? I'm very sorry. I know you clashed with the Batui several, but our organization is very right now. We want to save yeah. that's right. From the flood thing. Sure I knew if it weren't for our respective, that's why I didn't wish to flat out the truth is very important, but being right. So you know yeah. Fatus who works as a magician, but still, I'm asked sorry. Well, okay. Then We've been trying to find out how the oratories operate during our investigations from that point okay. on. Lynette and I have been Is that what you needed a Okay. Way? That's right. In truth, the audience would take about 75 seconds. So after jumping into the tunnel, I accessed the opera house basement via the vent and went to investigate okay. the room in which the core is stored. Alright. That air vent was created during the construction of the tunnel specifically to execute the step. Well, nothing. Which should have been impossible. Okay, but yeah. Seemed to recognize me Watch it, Aaron. To to no. On the way back, I saw the broken vase and the clothes on the ground. After that... Well, that explains why you didn't hear the thud. Because of that prophecy I told yeah. you about. Yeah. That's the only way you can... So... What was in that vase? And how did the bubbles happen? You... Well, Trevor, you decide. I know I'll you defend them. Yeah. Huh? Hmm. <sighs> he vented. How did the bubbles work? The vase is clearly made of the magic bubble water. Let me switch to my main so that I can uh, lawyer more effectively. And, of course, now that I've put this case together, with 
my genius detective wit. We can switch outfits. <laughs> because I am the greatest ace detective to ever live. You're not ready. No one is. Both parties have returned to their positions. Let us continue the trial. When last we left off, Mr. Yeah. Linney acknowledged the new evidence presented by Lady Farina as found. Therefore, Lady Farina... Objection! Well, you haven't let us speak. Objection! Uh, contempt of court? <laughs> Objection, saying that took long enough is contempt, is contempt of court. Motion for sanctions. <laughs> okay. Did we just have the dang and rompa them. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. As the countdown began, he entered the tunnel. Correct. In the flat that Charlie passed, he opened the box and got into an altercation with Hall. He did not realize that the sound could be heard by everyone. Finally. No. Are you face blind? I mean, I guess she is an NPC. Where's Halsey's corpse then? How would the corpse be escaped? No, it's... I have a question. Let He passed the corpse off to Lynette, right? Hmm. Let's talk about this. Yeah. Yeah, because there's no proof of it. Let's see. Okay, first of all. What? Cal walks in on Linny. Okay. Let's see. Let's take a look at this. Where'd the corpse go? No, where'd the corpse go? Answer me. Claims to have heard a mysterious voice. Irrelevant. Every exit was covered. All identities were cleared. No? She got bubbled. This doesn't prove anything. Let's see. What evidence says that he didn't do it? He was in the tunnel? No? Let's see. Oh, wait. Why was the vase with the clothes? Or wait. It- you can't use the same vase twice. And also there would have been a second thumb. Duh. No? Do I have to use this thumb? Okay. If he hit her with a vase, it would have been a shattering of a vase breaking. Let's see. This all makes sense in my head, right? I just don't know how to explain it with the... with what the game is giving us. Do I have to use Mysterious Voice? Because that would be stupid. 
to explain where he was. That's so dumb. I guess the fact that there's a voice is something that only the Oratressers would know. Okay. And then he returned. That's, that doesn't refute anything. But yeah, the clothes were there. Yeah, but we can't prove that because no one else was in there. Okay. Lenny couldn't have done it. Okay. Well, all of these can be disproven by all three of those. Yeah. Can't we just present Lenny's testimony? I think that was poorly designed. He still has a mustache on. Yeah. Yeah. Who was it meant to kill? Yeah. You wouldn't need to set up an elaborate murder device in a kidnapping case. Yeah, because he was in the basement. Okay. The audience said matchbox. The trick. Tunnel vent. What do you mean irrelevant? Oh, out of these three? What is the el what is the evidence that he wasn't in the tunnel? Hmm. It's not the information about her identity. Is it just the the sound? Oh, the sound was him in the vent. That doesn't prove it. He could just be lying. What do you think my job is? I'm a defense attorney. Did Cavill do it? Okay. Now, Cavill could have done it. He could have tampered with the prop. She was supposed to be within the box. She did get bubbled. Yeah. Because he was working there. That's stupid. Wait, is she not bubbled? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna dang and romp with closing argument this. Okay. Lenny was in the box. The thump. The sound may have come from a... And the broken base. The deceased's name is Cal. Where'd the missing halsey go? Bubbled. It would have been tough for both people. The sound we heard may have come from no one entered or left. She got bubbled. No, she got bubbled, dude. She totally got bubbled. Into the vent? By herself? No? But she can't have exited. Yeah, okay, then let's go back. Oh, is it- is the solution that there's no possibility? Hmm. Yep, bubbled, bubbled. Hey. 
just like the trick as it transpired. It's only when you Well, that would be nice, but the trick is Bubble. It's not like this is a magic trick where you can just make a real Yeah. <laughs> Excuse my Shut up, she got bubbled, moron. I'm a genius. I solve every trick. Shut up, the water bubbled her. No, that's wrong! The prophetic bubble water. It's the it's the prophesized lake water that turns you into bubbles. Yep. <laughs> How could a person ever be transformed into water? Hey, Lenny, explain the bubble trick. The truth must be out there somewhere. Perhaps a new line of reasoning. Since Cal was the deceased, we haven't been given that we aren't making much progress. People really do come up with all matches, perhaps. Nevertheless, I believe that this is a reasonable request on the part of an attorney. Yeah, Farina, please shut up. Please shut up and allow me to investigate. We are still examining the items, but we have discovered several test tubes of fluid with the notebook. Yep, prophecy water. Water from the primordial sea that turns you into bubbles. Boom, got him. He's in the base. Oh, he, he makes meth. One of these tubes was labeled Opera Epic. Notes also state that these dissolution properties work exclude as such. We believe that the You've gotta be kidding. But something so ridiculous. Yeah, the prophecy. People can become water. Does that mean that the water just a minute? Does that mean Oh, are you the drug organization? Let's go. Just trust me. Order! Order! It is under hmm. still. Let us assume that these clues aren't guards. Please consider winning. Yeah. Of course. I'm a genius. She got bubbled. It was designed. It's very simple. The metal hook is designed to, as the trolley is pulled across, knock over the vase and spill it on the person, dissolving them. How did he get into the box? He probably ensured that he would die in order to make sure that the. He's part of a criminal organization that likely tried to ensure that he would die in order to make sure, uh, like, you know, he would get away with it. In order to, like, make sure that he wouldn't spill the beans. This, I guess? Yeah, I was gonna say, he wasn't trying to distract us with it. Is it... The back door? Yeah, the backside trap door, or what? Yeah. Oh, a balloon. I thought it was just hooked into the... I thought it was just like a tripwire with the, <laughs> with the base. Okay. So, as the box is lowered... Right, because the hook is on the other end of the rope that lowers the box, which pulls it in. Okay. Counterpoint. We don't even need to explain that much of the method, just that she got bubbled by Cowl. Cowl probably died. A Melusine. Thank you, Your Honor. We were and we found an identity. What? That can't be. Placed. Does this not, my dear citizen? Shut up, moron. Linny did not need to take part in the dissolution. Having made 
Hey, moron. Shut up. Conspiracy is a whole different charge to prove that he's not on trial for. Hey, moron. Think about the other assistant he lended the visions to. Yes, we can. You can use evidence more than once. Hey. I'd like a reinvestigation. Excuse me, everyone. Objection. Oh, that's the an that's the antidote to the water. Don't be silly. Matt wants everyone believes the illusion. Can't magic reveal the truth and won't such a trick? Come on, Lenny and Lynette. Give it another butt as the magic makers and stars of the show. I understand. Okay. Are you just gonna undisappear her by debubbling? Oh, it yeah, it's antidote water. Hey. Anyway, as you can see, there was no- Objection, Your Honor. There was no murder. Oh. Yeah, she got bubbled and respawned. Yeah. Oh, you're the thief we met earlier! They're the one who picked our pocket. Oh yeah, about the teleportation. Oh right! You can't bubble someone who's not from Fontaine. Right. Because they're not affected by the prophecy. But I swear I didn't know that had I known that, I wouldn't have put him in the map lab. Daddy, everything's pretty clear now, definitely. Wait, then why why was it Ray to fall? Was it oh, it was probably to fall on Lenny. Alright. Lenny enters the tunnel. He leaves the tunnel. Halsey doesn't dissolve because she is from Monsa. Is the fact that a monster was picked, was that intentional? I don't know. This also evidences what the thump was. Identify loopholes. Lenny knocks Cowell out. Incorrect. Let's see. How would Halsey have reacted when the water from the primordial sea trickled in? She wouldn't. Because she's not... Because mm. she's not from there. Mm. So, wait, which one? Mm. Oh! Did Linny tamper with the random number selector to ensure that the plan would fail by picking someone from Monsat? Yeah, there's a thump. Okay. Right. She smashed the box. Sorry, I didn't hear that part of the testimony, I'll be honest, wasn't paying full attention. Okay. I do think it's kind of contrived that it's not just she got bubbled by Cowl. I mean, I guess it has to explain how Cowl died. 
But I think it's just like, oh yeah, he's part of a crime organization, and he just like killed himself to not snitch, right? So that he couldn't be taken alive. Let's see, infighting. There's evidence that the fight did break out. Well, yeah, but that that's an that's in agreement. What did Halsey do? Change clothes. Yeah, okay. Alright. Yeah. Okay. And she just left him on the trolley, I presume. What was the goal with the sabotage of the, uh, of the rope? Who was it meant to kill? Or was it just meant to... Right, it was meant as a distraction. Because getting a tank full of normal water there... Are you hungry? Oh. So what? They just broke the tank because, uh, they could dil- Oh, right, they could dilute the primordial seawater with normal water. Hey, being a prosecutor is not about winning. What really matters is getting it right. We have both won this. Okay, but how did the bubble trick happen? He passed the prepared hook on a rope through the gap in the magic box's door. When the magic trick officially began, the box... See, I thought Lynette just got bubbled and unbubbled or something. The young woman would be dissolved at this. Realizing that there was trouble, Cowell entered the tunnel. But that's fine. However, his opponent was more capable than he thought, and he was overcome. Knocked on Lillian according to her own statements. Then changed... As for Lynette, he... From this reconstruction of events... <laughs> While there is much in Linny in All the right. hands, this case at least can be handed over to the Oratrix. Yeah, that works. Oh, is the Oratrix going to disagree with him for the first time ever? And it's going to be like, that was a foreshadowed moment? That's going to happen at some point in the story, won't that? As such, Linny and Lynette. Great work, partner. Thank you all. Anyway. Next, how did you find the water? Right. Yeah, you planted the evidence. I suspect that the accomplice meant play. I'm sure yeah. you know what you speak quickly. Confess you guilt. I, I was we were supposed to place blame for the serial disappearance yeah. on Delinny. And now that your plan has fallen through, therefore you would be wise to Yeah. Our boss okay. discovery can also be made into a potion. Which went extremely okay. In this you use it as math. <laughs> By who? Is Navia part of the crime group? Okay, they're an they're a rival to the mob. Where was the water from? The ceiling? Everybody look up. Okay. I think that is a suitable plot twist to end this episode with. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. So, we're just going back now? Uh, let's do a raid. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Who's live? Solars, right?
it didn't work. No, but Sin is, I believe, doing their second anniversary subathon, so let's do that. I do think all the evidence should have been uh, presented for Discovery first, but uh, different countries do their courts differently, so, eh. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.